Hey everyone, welcome to the Astro Patio. You know what's really cool about being an astrophotographer? Is pretty much you can put astro in front of anything. The astro bedroom, the astro side garage, the astro flip flops. See? Anything can become astro as long as you use it or near it when you're doing something with astronomy or astrophotography. So what is new here in, uh, in entering into space land? Astro patio. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, bad stuff. They say when you get a lot of new gear in, you also get a lot of bad weather. Well, that's, guess what I got? I got a lot of bad luck. I, um, I got a camera that lost its cool. The nerve. No, it literally won't cool down anymore. The ASI 1600 will not cool down. And uh, so, High Point Scientific is being super cool about it. Looks like they're gonna probably grab it and ship it back to China. <laughs> but here's where the astro gods, see, astro, in front of everything, mock me. Ah, we mock you. Sitting on my doorstep, the day the camera broke, there's the ASI Air, yeah and the ZWO 120. That, believe it or not, believe it or not, was sent to me by a really awesome dude named Jeremiah Poole. Yeah, he was like, man, you have helped me so much and I wanna say thank you. And this is how he thanked me. I'm not kidding you. You think I'm making this up, but I'm not. There are some super ass cool people in the world. Yep. Not only did he send me this, but then he goes, hey, do you have a guide camera? And I was like, yeah, I got a 290 and I have to swap it back and forth. And he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll send you another guide camera. No more swapping for you, buddy. Like seriously, man. Like how many thank yous can you say to somebody who sends you an ASI Air Pro? Oodles? I don't know. Anyway. If you're watching this, Jeremy, appreciate it, buddy. Like, this is totally new to me. I've never used one of these before. I mean, I've always been over here and all this, lugging all this around, and I don't have to. So I got a lot to learn. So today's video is really, um, is gonna be how I'm gonna set it up, how I'm gonna install the ASI Air onto my uh, Mead 80 millimeter refractor setup with Nebula targets on the horizon, literally. I want to switch over and get the wider field scope going. I thought this would be a great time to hook up the ASI Air Pro and how I'm uh, going to connect it all and figure it all out and figure it out with you guys just right along. So this video is just going to be about installing it, cable management, getting it all hooked up, and then I'll do a follow-up video on um, uh, actually using it. But I want to use it first. But I'm so excited, I just figured I'd do this video, right? Right? So. You know I don't do unboxings, I do what's in the box. So let's see what's in the box. All right, so the ASI Air Pro. ASI Air Pro. What's in the box? Well, first of all, we've got this instruction manual. It's that thin. There's no instructions there, none whatsoever. But we do have the ASI Air Pro. And so going over this thing and looking at it, we've got one side here that is obviously an auto switch. We've got a 12 volt DC input and looks like some lights here that kind of let you know what's going on. And one thing I did that was highly recommended on other videos that I watched was to pull the micro SD card out of it. We're gonna hook it up to the computer and we're gonna back it up. Uh, and then, so the next side, let's just go from side to side, right? So the next side is like where you can take this little shoe that would mount into where a spotting scope would go and actually move it over so you could mount it kind of uh, edgewise that stuff like this like that right now we've got 12 
DC 12 volt outputs. We got four of them. Four. And I did see in some videos where one of these outputs was like running some do bands, but my do bands don't work that way. They're like the old school RC jacks. So I think I'm not going to be able to eliminate the Astro Pegasus Astro Power Box. Astro. See, everything's got an Astro on it. So I think I'm going to have to keep it. I don't think it's going to totally eliminate that, but we'll see. I don't think so. And then what else do we have? We've got four USB, actually it looks like two USB 3.0 and two regular USB, USB jacks. Yeah, and then I think what it has in here is an ethernet cable input. And that's gonna be crucial because one thing I've heard about these ASI Air Pros is the, they broadcast out a Wi-Fi signal, but it's not that strong. And so it's like, hey man, that's great, but if you get like 15 feet away, it sucks. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm going to have to put on my Wi-Fi like booster and be able to plug that into here and then just connect through the house of the home Wi-Fi instead of the dedicated ASI Air Pro Wi-Fi that I have. So obviously that's the big show. Cables, I've literally not opened up any of these bags. So prepare to be extremely bored. Uh, ooh, this would be, I'm guessing this is going to go from the ASI Air with this nine pin connector here to my mount to take the place of the hand controller. What do you bet? The USB to USB 3.0 to actually control possibly like the back of the camera. We got lots of cables in here. Look, look at this, loads. And these are all, so lots of 12 volt cables. One, two, uh, three. Um, and then one more 12 volt power cord. And what is this? Oh, this would be a, um, a thingy. This is probably all your information for the ASI Air. This is the manual. I bet you this is the manual on a little thumb drivey thingy. Bet you that's what it's for. But guess what? They don't tell you. But this is gonna replace my whole Astro setup. This is gonna replace that. It's super cool. I'm really excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over here, I'm gonna hook everything up. We're gonna move like the focuser over and all kinds of doodad stuff. And then I've gotta go dust off the DSLR. So let's get everything hooked up and I'm gonna show you how I got it all going and maybe I've got it powered, we'll see. And in the meantime, my son is uh, backing up my, uh, the ASI Air Pro um, file. So he's doing that for me right now. It's a team effort. All right, stay tuned. Three, two, one. It's not perfect. It's a work in progress, but it's done. Uh, what did I learn when I was hooking all this up? Well, I had to keep the Astro Power Pocket Pocket Power. Pa Listen, come up with a simpler name. Oh my God. Anyway, I had to keep it because I have two do bands. One, two. Actually, I actually have three. I generally like to have one back here on the um, on the flattener fuck reducer. Say that five times fast, but I'm not gonna put that on for right now. Anyway, what did I learn? The, it does come with like a nine pin connection 
that would connect into the mount here, but the pin doesn't work. So I'm still going to have to go to the hand controller. I've got the dedicated cable um, coming to the feed line. So actually, I'm feeding data information, same thing, down through into the back of the hand controller, and then from the hand controller up to the mount. Everything else, I went ahead and put the, the 1600 on, even though it's busted and going out for repairs. I wanted to make sure that at least it connects, because it still does work, still takes pictures, still comes on, just doesn't cool down. Uh, but other than that, this is um, a pretty cool, cool, is it cool? It's crude cable management system, a lot of Velcro and zip ties. Um, but the ZWO or the ASI Air does come with some really short cables, like this little data cable here that runs down to the back of the camera. So that's cool. They've kind of shortened some of the cables up. Um, I had to use a longer cable for the data, for the, um, uh, the focuser. And you see I had to wrap that up and I used this little strap to kind of bungee everything together. And I'm using the TPO for a guide scope. So we'll see how it does. And the 120 connected, which is pretty cool. And it does come, the 120 came with a pretty short cable as well. Um, I might try to tie some of this up. But that's it. Let me get over here where the sunlight is not so bad. Yeah. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Screw issues as far as running everything. Everything's connected. The camera has data. The focuser has data. The um, filter wheel is getting its information from the back of the ZWO 1600. So that should all connect. So the next thing to do is fire everything up and see if it connects. All right, I'm done. I think this is gonna be it for the video for right now. It's just mainly about connecting it all and how it all connects up um, as far as the, uh, the infrastructure of it. And so what I'll do is I'm gonna test this Hopefully, I get a camera to test it with. I might even like throw my 290 on the back of the uh, filter wheel. I mean, it's a mono camera. It'll take a picture, right? I don't know, it doesn't cool down. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this thing, kinda get, uh, kinda get the feel of it, see how it works, see, see um, if I like it. I hope I like it. I mean, it, it's a lot less to deal with, that's for sure. Uh, I think one of my main concerns that I do now I think one of my main concerns right now is like how do I frame up targets in Nina you just kind of move the box around I showed you that lots of times with this thing you know it, I'm sure it's got a database but how do you fine-tune that that framing um, I know I still got to get the Ethernet plugged in here I didn't do that so it's another cable to run but who cares it's just cables so um, that's about it so next time you see me, hopefully I'll be proficient at the ASI Air. And uh, stay tuned for a challenge video. Yes, a challenge video. Can I actually pull off doing a Hubble Pallet image of the Dueling Dragons from the Northern Hemisphere? Can it be done? Stay tuned. Clear skies and clear minds. Wait, so are your minds and skies clear? Let's follow up. I just got more to say. So get over it. Um, yeah, so the little thing that I pointed out to you on the ASI Air, this little guy right here, this is actually a thumb drive for your uh, subs. And I've got it plugged in. Um, it's actually, it even says it. It says 64 gigabyte. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? So what else? What have I learned in my brief short time dealing with the ASI Air Pro? The uh, Wi-Fi sucks. Yes, you gotta be out here. Pretty much gotta be out here. And what else did I do? I cleaned up the scope. I discovered flex tube. No, I didn't destroy. And no, I didn't destroy my vacuum cleaner to get this done. I didn't, I swear. And yeah, so anyway, I've got the uh, 64 gigabyte like little thumb drive here. And I am hoping that I'm broadcasting internet or this Wi-Fi signal out through the um, 
the little extender, Wi-Fi extender that I have. And also, it did not come with the dew heater ports. I thought that was like an extender for my dew heater ports, but guess what, it's not. It's just an extender for the 12 volt power. So anyway, yes, I have to, or I ended up having to still keep the Astro Pocket Power Box. Why? Because I have these kind of little clips, uh, jacks. Uh, but other than that, I'm getting the hang of it. I've cleaned everything up and everything has got its power coming from the actual ASIR Pro. And I've got power coming from the the pocket power box over to feed power to the ASI Pro and then it feeds power back down to the mount and oh yeah by the way um, as far as mount connection if you're getting this and you have the Orion Atlas like me or maybe in a, any other SenseScan uh, controlled mount and you were always doing EQ mod well guess what you have to maintain that choice you have to maintain that choice of EQ mod because it does not recognize the Orion mount. You would need a different cable, which I do not have a different cable, so I'm still coming from the hand controller all the way up through to the, uh, to the USB 2.0 right here. Uh, other than that, it works great, logs on, but I just have to be out here. So this is kind of uh, my new setup, my new, my new rig. And the funny thing is, as you can see, my table, my spray painted table is empty. What do you think, Frankie? Empty table. I do have an iPad. I haven't shown that. Uh, but yes, iPad works great so far. So we'll see. Um, so stay tuned. I'm gonna use this thing for the first time tonight. Gonna get some, uh, gonna get my sea legs under it and use it a little bit and then come back to show you how I use it to shoot some targets. Mm, okay, now you can go check and see if your skies are clear and if your minds are clear. Until next time.